Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pool of Reads 2024 edition. And, uh, this is the Famicom version, of course. As you can see, I'm back in New Flan. I had to sell a few things. Um, I sold my Efreet bottle, I sold my banded mail for my character because, um, one of my characters had a plate mail plus two, the, um, Ganglion, or Felger, had a plus two plate mail, so I took that because it was way better. Um, so, hmm... I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can use. I'm going to start trying to use those wands more, because I really don't need them. But I don't want to sell them either. Because even though they give a lot of money, it's like, at the same time, until... Eh. I just really don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> I'm like a hoarder with this stuff. Uh, okay, so we got Magic Missile. Technically, I really don't need a Magic Missile wand, because I've got the spell. I've got four of them at that, so, but we'll start using them, we'll start using them. So, uh, okay, we're going to go back to, um, whoops, not where I wanted to go. We are going to go to um, Valjavo Castle, fortunately we took out that part here, so Valjavo Castle is broken up into four sections. We enter in from the southwest region, and then there's, you know, southeast, northwest, northeast. So, um, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger the uh, the alarm. Because um, I'm going to want to grind. My fighter needs 125,000 experience points, and as you can see, he's far from that. So, fortunately, the hill giants actually leave behind pretty good reward here. So, I want to, so this part, I'm going to focus on getting everyone fully trained. Um, and... Oh, there's a guard here. Okay. Now, I did not choose to get the disguises from the... Uh, uh, from the women that were washing clothes in that um, first section that we went into. So, that means as soon as the sergeant sees us, we are going to end up in a fight. Now, this part of the game, um, I'm not going to do it just yet. But this part of the game is where you really want to start using uh, the haste spell if you've got it. Uh, I'm going to try hold person because this guy has got a good armor class if I don't remember right. Let me see what he's got. So he's got negative six, so... Unfortunately, we got him. And unfortunately, right after this battle, we're going to have to deal with the sergeant and the hill giants. Yep, we're introduced to those guys. Oh wait, okay, I guess not, but the alarm is going to ring, I know that. Yeah, it, it'll it just keep doing that. And here they go. So the leader says, Aitsurada, Tsukamayuro. Oh gosh, okay. So yeah, hill giants are pretty difficult enemies, and it's at this point in the game I would recommend casting haste. It does make your characters older, but as far as I know, that doesn't really affect anything in the game. I don't think your characters can die of old age. At least not to my knowledge. Well, look at that. Did some pretty massive damage there. I'm going to try using Hold Person. So yeah, for me, the best thing that works against the Hill Giants is Haste and Fireball. Haste on your party, of course. Don't cast it on... I don't know if it would work on the enemies, even if you use the spell on them. But um, I'd rather not find out. Unless someone wants to let me know in the comments, then go ahead. Um, okay, I'm going to use my wand because I'm trying to get rid of it. Although I should actually save this for the fire giants, which are a lot tougher. And as you can see, there was some bounce back there. Um, I didn't check what their stats were, though. I should have done that. Um, I'm going to get a little closer and then cast Fireball. I think I'm too far away for that. Um, hold person. By the way, hill giants have 41 hit points and an AC of 4. This guy is the same as before. I don't think hold person works on hill giants though so we're just gonna have to hope for the best here and of course they will do some hefty damage nine is actually pretty lucky but and we're hastened and we age so that means the spell actually took effect you think as soon as you cast it on your on your team that it works but no you have to wait for the message to come up that your party gets older but this spell is almost like a cheat because I mean, let's see if I can hit this guy with an arrow. Look at that. 
kept hitting you can hit up to multiple times also if in case you didn't notice you get more moves too so like he's like my thief's got 24 i think as opposed to his normal 12 right um let's see if i can hit this giant here look at that three times and he surrendered now let's see how the experience we get 20,131 and all the gold too and we got a battle axe i probably just gonna sell that all right so the alarm's gonna continue to ring i think is it not i guess the way to find out is if i try to rest nope okay they found me shit okay um that's okay you can go out here and take a little rest um whole person so yeah this episode unfortunately is just going to be me grinding um fortunately this is the only real part in the game where it's necessary or i would say it's necessary if you want to try to go to tyranthrexus with the lower stats that's fine but uh i don't know oh the alarm's still ringing okay i'll have to change that in my guide because okay but let's see what my fighter's experience is that okay so we're getting closer. Let's just trigger another um, patrol battle. Now, it, it would be a wise decision to get the disguises, though, from the orc women, because, um, of course, you can avoid um, these random encounters. But if you're grinding, these are the these are exactly the spells I would recommend. Yeah, see, I kind of cast, or kind of touch the enemies, too, but I don't think it works against them. And I'm going to prepare a fireball. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this guy. Oh, I did. Okay. And here we go. But yeah, the best, best course of action is have your fighters, you know, go with brute force. And have your spellcasters cast haste and stink cloud. And of course, fire giants, we haven't come across them yet in this playthrough, but they're even worse because they're resistant to fire spells. Not only that, they also have a lot more HP, and I think they have a lower armor class as well. So they're a force to be reckoned with, for sure. Um, or is it not a force to be reckoned with? I don't remember what the proper term is, and I just did some bit stupid there. Did the ha uh, We didn't even get the haste spell to take effect, so... Oh, wait, no, no, we don't want to do that. Okay. Um, let me see his stats now. 92, okay, so he gets a fair amount. Uh, and rinse and repeat. That's all I could say. Rinse, lather, repeat. Okay. We'll just rest here. Uh... Wait, there we go. Yeah, I don't think the spell works on the other enemies. So that's good, at least. Uh, but the fireball spell does hit everyone it touches, so you gotta really be careful with that one. Mm hmm. Other than that, it's not too bad of a fight, I guess. Oh, okay, we the haste spell took effect, so. I love this spell, though, it's so good. Oh, and see, look at that. I killed him, and I get to attack another enemy. That's another nice thing about haste. And I get to attack a third guy. So, like I said, this spell is almost like a cheat. Whew. Look at that. They surrendered. Yeah. Uh, you want some more. <laughs> it's a, and it, I think it's a good thing that those battles respawn, because... Um, that would suck if they didn't, because... Uh, it's actually not that bad of a fight with these spells. But, and see, that's the real fun thing about the game. You really get these powerful spells like Haste and Fireball and Lightning, you know, Lightning Bolt. Um, it really helps a great deal, you know. And I forgot to have her cast Haste, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, okay, the spell hasn't... Oh, wait, wait, I didn't cast the spell yet. That's why. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we lost someone, so... Oh, it's our thief, though, so who cares? And there we go. The haste spell took effect, and we're 
really send these guys packing, aren't we? Oh, they surrendered. Yeah, see? Uh, so it's just more of the same stuff. You just rinse, slather, repeat, kill some hill giants. Um, that's the thing. They're, I would re Normally I would recommend going after the fire giants, cause the, but they don't leave exponentially more XP, I don't think, than the hill giants do, and they're a lot tougher. So it's really up to you what, what you want to do as far as that's concerned. Um, okay, he's getting closer, though. We're getting closer to... And then, what about the mages? Let me see. Uh, 90,000 points. So, what about... Oh, yeah. We got a long ways to go. We we got a ways to go with the... Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's level 8. Level 8. Uh, level 6 is 40,000. Oh, so we got enough... We could we could technically go back to the training hall and get more spells, but um, I'm not going to do that just yet because... Well, I don't, it's not really warranted right now. I'd rather just make one trip and get everyone trained, you know what I mean? So. Uh, and we got our haste spell working, so that's good. Mm-hmm. It's just fun, though. It's just fun. And if you don't have Fireball, then I'd say use, um, use Stink Cloud. And I... Crap, I forgot my... I didn't realize my cleric was that close. So, oops. Yeah, so that's cool when you can get the giants... Oh, shit, I lost my cleric. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess we are making a return trip to Flan. Okay, well, that's nice. Um, let me see what my... Uh... That means we have to go to the shrine and revive him. I just realized he died. Okay. Shibo, yeah, that actually means, or that's what the NES version calls slain. So that means we are going to have to revive him. Fortunately, at least he's not an elf, so um, we don't have to worry about... Whoa, what? Oh, I had the game in speed-up mode, sorry. At least I assume that's what happened. Uh, let's go back to Flan. Okay. Uh, shit, I don't remember the... I think it's this one. Wait, uh, oh, him. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Well, at least that worked. At least we got him back. Okay. I'm still not going to train my characters, though. Um, I, again, I want to do that in one shot. Get everyone done at the same time, so. But let's get him healed up. Wow. Yeah, that costs some HP, or that costs some money, but at this point in the game, I have so much, and I didn't even sell my 235 gems yet, so. I mean, you got that to consider. Um, I'm gonna have to trigger the battle again, though, so that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, there's, there are some hill giants in here, why don't we just kill them? Um, yeah, let's just kill them. There's only two, so that's actually not too bad. I'm gonna cast Stink Cloud, though. Sorry if you heard that notification sound. Um, again, that's just the general rule here. I, every time I'm recording, I get a notification. It's like the only time I get notifications when I'm recording. Oh, and he tried to run. Now, that wasn't that much experience, but at least it was some. So, I mean, hey. And this is just a bathroom, so. Toyede, as they call it in Japan. Um, we'll remember my spells here. Um, let me see. I think Gold Leap. Yeah, she only. Oh, and the Bucket of Sand. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's, uh. Turn the search mode on, which doesn't matter. You're still going to trigger the battle. just means you don't take damage. And the NES version, it said it, it, the bucket was a crude alarm, and I never understood why, but I always found that line really funny. Oh, and I forgot to cast my uh, <laughs> fireball spell. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, speaking of, uh, yeah, don't forget to memorize your spells if you're like me. Okay, sorry. Um, I don't even have haste. I thought I memorized that, but... I obviously did not. Okay, sorry about that. Let's do another take with that one. Okay. Oh, whatever. The bucket can kiss my ass. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, wait, did the spell take effect? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Yes, it did. Okay. So, we're going to send their asses pack in here. I think here there's more hill giants than anything else. Now in the computer version, they can uh, they can also throw boulders at your party, which causes even more damage. So they did make some of the enemies easier in this version. 
but I'm not complaining. I think, again, I think it's just the right difficulty. Um, I guess you could argue that it's too easy. Like, as you can see, I'm usually getting these fights on the first try. The only reason I didn't with this one, obviously, is because I didn't have the, uh, the password. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't memorize my spells. I'm, I saw the gate, and I was like, oh, there's the, the password. And, I don't know. Um, I think there, there should be treasure in these rooms, though, I thought. Yeah, here's one. Oh, no, that's not treasure at all. It's giants, but let's kick their asses. Oh, crap, I didn't realize... Okay, let's... How about how about this? How about we rest up first? That would be a great, brilliant idea. I mean, I don't know about you. I think that would be a great idea. And then we can memorize our spells, right? And then we can rest. And then we can kick some giant ass. It's weird you have to go here, though. Let's kill him. Uh, let's do the Wand of Lightning. It's not going to do much, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, fireball, of course. What else would I want to cast on these guys? And yeah, it's not always guaranteed to do a ton of damage, but at least, you know, it does some damage, which is nice. I'll take what I can get. I guess technically you don't even need that spell with the haste spell, but it's it really does help, though. So we're going to memorize another one. Okay, there we go. Okay. I'm probably going to upload my updated version of the guide today, um, just because, and I'm, I'll just keep making updates and uploading it every so often. Um, I'm trying to do the battles that don't leave treasure, because I can't really take anything. I, my inventory is pretty much full, but there is one thing I do want, which I believe is the strongest weapon in the game. I could be wrong, though, but it's the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, oh, he's almost got enough experience, so... Okay. Anyways, um, that fake Tyranthrexus actually holds a plus or a longsword plus five. So I didn't know that before. So it's actually worth going to fight him for that. So um, I'll be doing that in this playthrough. I don't know if I've done that before. Um, this is where you can get the disguises. I'm not going to do that just yet. In fact, I don't know if I'm going to do it at all. Um... There is something I want to do here, though. Uh, we got Kadorna here in chains. And we're going to kill him. It really doesn't matter what you do with him. But, um, that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, there's a treasure here, but I'm not going to take it. But now you know where one is. <laughs> uh, finding, tre finding treasure in this place is easy just because... You know, everything's accessible, and there's no random battles unless the alarm's going off. So, um, it's up to you if you want to find them. Um, otherwise, I've documented them all in my guide. I'll attempt this battle, but it's one I usually avoid. Because um, these giant snakes aren't really worth your time. Um, successful hits can result in your party member getting poisoned. And the amount of experience they leave behind is not worth it at all. So... Um, and how strong are these guys? They got 25 points and AC of 5. But even with your strongest warriors, they can prove pretty damn deadly. So, um, do I have, like, some kind of wand I can use? Of course I don't. Okay. Um, wait. Did I... Oh, there is one. Okay, magic missile. Yeah, let's just use that. Because at least there I'm getting a guaranteed hit. Okay, fortunately... He didn't get poisoned. But again, for the sake of this video, I'm doing the battle. But otherwise, I would avoid it at all costs. It's not worth it. You don't get that much experience out of it. Um, in fact, I'm going to use my fireball. Because I just want to get this battle with as soon as possible. There we go. Yeah, 10,000 or 1,040 experience. Not even close to being worth it. Sorry, I, I'm on at least like 10,000. And even worse, there's nothing in this room to take. So there's no hidden treasure or anything like that. So if you were thinking, well, what if there's some kind of treasure? Nope, there's nothing. You get nothing. So, um, okay. Yeah, I mean, they recognize us without our disguises, of course. So, 
Um, we got that to worry about. But again, I'm just trying to... Okay, haste. And then fireball. Oh, good combo. Okay. Let's make quick work of these guys. Um, oh, I love the spell, man. Um, now, I mentioned the Eye of the Beholder games earlier, which I might revisit those games as well. But um, in that game, when you cast the haste spell, it just allows you to attack quicker, which also works out really good. You you want that spell. In that game, your characters don't have an age listed, so it really doesn't matter. I have a feeling this guy's going to surrender. Oh, come on, just hit him. He's got an AC of 6, though, so he's got... It's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Uh, we got dust, which I believe in this game is invisibility dust, so it can actually prove useful. Wow, and I'm loaded on cash here. And the alarm starts to ring. Oh, of course it does. And we got the giant patrol. No, no, no. Okay, let's let's take off the search mode. And in fact, I think my party member... Oh, he's almost got enough. Okay. Um, but we're going to have to get out of here. Hopefully we make it. Ah, damn it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not dealing with that. I, I want to go rest, memorize my spells. Because um, I actually have I have to go to work soon, so... That's another issue. Uh, what's this? The boss. Shigoto Tsuzuketukure. Oh, that's weird that I avoided the fight. Damn it. Well, what was that last thing that just happened? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I remember when I first got to this part when I was younger and I saw the monster portraits for the hill giants. It scared the crap out of me. They, Seishi Okota actually made him look, at least to me, it made him look really creepy. Although they also kind of remind me of Lane Staley too. Like the hair and the face and everything. Just, um... I don't know, like, I'm not saying that's an insult, I love the guy, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, so one more battle and we should be good, good to level up, and then the next part we're going to start actually taking on the castle. Um, okay. Uh, let's face the wall here. Oh yeah, but see, now look, the alarm stopped ringing, so I guess it depends what you do. Or what battles you do or whatever. Maybe that's got something to do with whether the alarm rings or, or doesn't. Kind of weird. Okay. Alright. Well, let's see. Um, so we, we did this one. I think there's a note in here. Yeah. Watashi wa hono o mato teru mitame o shinjine koto da tiranturaku sasu. Yeah. Um, I'm cloaked in flame. Believe not what you see. Oh, I... Okay. Um, I can't remember if there's any treasure in here. I don't think so. But anyways, that second note, I think, was about Kadorna, where it reveals that he was only trying to find the pool for himself and didn't really care about what Tyranthrax has said or did. Uh, we're going to search this place. Um, hopefully the scribe does not find us. Damn it. Um, oh, he didn't see us. Um, I would kill him if you see him. Um, alright anyways um, let's examine the books so uh, this game basically or the game basically tells you that Tyranthrax says originally was just your standard bad guy with a bunch of his baddies but he just grew in power um, and now he's not intending just to take over Flan but he also wants the whole moon sea as a result and then, um, if you try to search again, the game just says it's, it'll be easier to kill Tyranthrexus than examining all the books, so. Um, in this room, though, we can get the password. Um, there's actually, you don't really need to do anything here. Um, just kill the null, and then the cook will give you the password. Or as they call him, Kaku. Which could translate to the word cock, but that actually is the word for cook. 
in Japanese, or that's how they say the English word. Um, there's treasure in here, so if you want that, um, but I don't really care for that. I think our next, wait, um, do we have enough experience? No, not yet. We got another battle we got to do. Um, okay. I know there's fire giants in this room. I guess we can take them on or try. Um, here's their monster portraits. Their arms are very skinny, though. Um, they look pretty scary. Yeah, now, fire giants, these guys are not to be... I'd actually go on to say, maybe with the exception of Tyranthrixus, these are the strongest enemies in the game. As you can see, 59 points in an AC of 4. So they are not a force to be reckoned with. Um, definitely cast haste with this one. What You'd be an idiot not to cast that in this battle. But um, I think... Oh, crap, I must have got hit, because, yeah, that's right, he did. I was going to say, why can't I cast any spells? Um, I'll try my lightning wand, though. But i got to remember to go to use item. Or in this version, it's actually called tools. Um, which is popular in RPG games to address it as such. But in the NES version, it's uh, use item. And we're going to haste, um, but not yet, it looks like. And, of course by their namesake as you can probably guess they're resistant to fire based spells so you want to be careful with that but yeah they they could do some pretty nasty damage but stink cloud does work it's a low success rate but it still has a chance of working so um if you can get that to work that's great um fortunately in this battle there's not that many in fact i don't think any of the battles in the game have like more than five but these are definitely guys you don't want to screw with. Wow, I actually did get some good stuff. Okay. I don't know what that says, actually. I think that's for the... Oh, those are the passwords for the gate. And that's actually where you can get the uh, items. Or get that sword that I was talking about. Um, I guess we'll do that, and then after... Oh, crap. Okay, no, no, I forgot, I forgot. Uh, if you go that way you will get caught by the, you'll get caught in another battle. So, um, first of all, let's rest. And then let's memorize, uh, Stink Cloud. And, uh, let's memorize, oh, I already got Fireball. That's right, um, but I gotta get Haste. Okay. Although this next battle isn't gonna really require it, but, okay. So I think we're gonna have to approach it from the east side, right? I hope I'm going the wrong, the right way, because I can't remember. I can scroll through my guide, but I'm at the experience table, so that would take a minute. So I'm just gonna see if I, if I'm in the right place, uh, or I'm just gonna risk it. Okay, so give them the password. From what I remember, it was actually kind of fun mapping out this labyrinth. I used to have it every, I used to have everything mapped out on graph paper. I had it in a binder, but I don't remember what happened to that set binder. So, I'm kind of screwed there. <laughs> now, you can actually push through the thorns if you want, but if you do that, one of your party members will die. So, I wouldn't really recommend it. Ah, here we go. And it's the same character portrait as Skull Crusher, which I find is funny. Um, let him go. And you'll get his long sword. Um, I don't have crap. I don't have space for everything, of course. That long sword is plus five. I'm at least gonna take that. I'm at least gonna take that freaking long sword. Come on. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna leave everything else. I want that sword though. And now I'm gonna try to find my way back. I I know how to get through the maze going in, but going out is another story. <laughs> that's what she said. Anyways, um. Then again, you just gotta remember this is a just a 16 by 16. The whole area is a 16 by 16 grid. Oh, I think I found it. I think. There we go. Um, there's is this the okay this guy. You can't kill him, so you might as well just take his treasure. But I'm not gonna worry about that because again, I don't have any inventory space. So I think what I might just do is uh, it's kind of weird to have to get the password to get out of here too. Um, what I might just do is, um, I'll do all the battles as usual, and if they drop treasure, I'm just going to have to leave it. 
But um, he's got, okay, now he's got way more than enough. He needed 125,000, so we're, let's go back to plan, get trained, maybe sell off some items. Um, oops. And that's where you fight the Ettons or whatever if you want to do the separate battles. I just did it in this playthrough. I killed them all at the same time just for the sake of this video. <laughs> or this playthrough, I mean. Well, not in this video, of course. Okay. So let's uh, get our stuff identified. We could take on the city guard if we wanted to. I don't really feel like it, though. Sorry. Um, this is dust of a displacement or disappearance. Okay. Yeah, long sword plus five. I mean, that is a really good sword right there. So that means I'm going to give... Um, what does Goldleaf have? She's got a long sword plus two. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell her longsword plus two. I'm gonna give my bastard sword plus three to Goldleaf. Then I'm gonna give Quidian's longsword plus four to my guy. And then, oh yeah, and the battle axe. We don't need that either. But it's a plus one anyway. Who cares about that? Um, oh and. Oh, okay, okay, I, I still got it. We've got a long sword plus four, uh, bastard sword plus three, okay. Um, and then, uh, what was it? Uh, long sword plus two, we don't need that. Um, okay, at least he can carry a few items. Um, although I'm going to give him the long sword plus five. Um, Javelin of Lightning, I always forget to do that. Alright, so time to get these guys trained, and in the next video we'll start actually taking on the castle. Um, I've had him, I think the most amount of HP I've had Gwydion at is 108. So I'm trying to see if I can get that again, but it doesn't look like it's working. <sighs> okay, next time I get 107, I think I'll just take that. I think that's more than enough. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to memorize Lightning Bolt. I'm trying to remember which one that is. Oh, crap. I can't remember which one. Um, let me... Let me consult my uh, manual here. Translate. Okay. So, trying to keep this quick. Okay. Uh, level three, we got. Uh, Inazuma. Okay, that's lightning bolt. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Um, actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. I want to. Uh, I want haste. As well, and then gold leaf can have a. Uh... Oh, but you know what? That's not a lot of health, though. I want more. So, uh, try that again. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get, so that's fine. And then she can memorize, uh... Oh shit! I meant to memorize haste as well. Crap. Okay, whatever. Um, that's fine. Really, we don't need two haste spells anyway, so screw it. It's fine. Make it a little different for this playthrough. That's fine. Okay. But we can memorize another level 3 spell, so I'll do that. And then uh, Cold Leaf can memorize Fireball. Oh, and a Stink Cloud. We'll need that. Okay. Alright, so that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And like I said, the next couple, three videos, we should have the rest of the game complete. And, and beat Tyranthrixus once and for all. So... Um, I'm probably going to do also a separate video too of the ending for the Japanese version. I don't think it's been posted online for without commentary or anything, so I'm going to do that. I'll see you guys later. God bless. Peace out. Have a good one.